the Springfield Township Board of Trustees regular meeting. It is Tuesday, February 8th at approximately 5.30 p.m. Mr. Burney, can we have a roll call, please? Yes, Mr. Burney. Present. Mr. Arnold. Present. Ms. Davis. Present. All trustees are present. Thank you. Next, I would like everyone to stand uh, for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Have a, a minutes for approval from the public hearing and regular meeting on January 11th, 2022, and the regular work session on January 25th, 2022. If, though, if there are no corrections or changes, I would entertain a motion for approval as written. Do I have a motion? So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Burning, will we, may we please have the financial report? Okay. Um, for the month ending January 31st, 2022, the township expenditures were $1,736,399.31, and the receipts were $436,331.01. The ending cash balance of $23,430,990.20 includes obligations for expenditures, payroll, regular operating costs, ongoing capital improvement projects and investments. What I, request, what I request to the board is the approval of the receipts, warrants, payroll expenditures, updated and current revenue, and reports for the period ending 1-31-22. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second? Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, motion carries. And I want everyone to know that the financial reports are available at the administrative offices during regular business hours or on our website 24-7. Thank you, Ms. Davis. Thank you, Mr. Burney. Mr. Gilbert, would you please give us a report on your departmental action and discussion items, please? I sure will. Um, originally on the agenda, I had three action items. Uh, due to a last-minute revision, there's only two. We're not going to take action on the improved K request at this time. So first I would uh, ask to set a date and time for the 2022 temporary, I'm sorry, permanent appropriations public hearing. So as the board is aware, every March we are required to adopt the permanent appropriations by the end of March. So we generally at our, at our first Tuesday of the month, I'm sorry, the second Tuesday of the month meeting in March, we generally have a public hearing and go over our permanent appropriations for the year. So I'm just asking the board to set that public hearing for March 8th at 5.30 at the beginning of our uh, regular scheduled meeting in March. So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, we have a temporary extension of the township's liquor license. So as the board is aware, we have a liquor license for our Grove Banquet Hall uh, facility at the rear of our property. Um, due to some events this summer, that some outdoor events that we're looking to have uh, both uh, around the Arch Center and then on, the, on the, uh, the main lawn here behind our facility. There's a provision in the law that allows uh, the liquor holder to extend um, their liquor license to outdoor areas that immediately adjacent to uh, the facility which has the liquor license. So I'm just asking the board to approve an extension to the uh, area in which the liquor license would apply, which would um, the, the outdoor area, uh, which was the former soccer field, which is just the main um, green space area behind our facility here. And is this, this is a temporary? It's just for the year, it, it expires at the end of this year. Okay. And, and um, the only, I look at yeah. this, and so it's basically, it's the area that we would call the soccer field, I guess. The, the previous um, soccer field. Previous soccer field. Um, is there any reason to do the back, or we don't? Covered. That's already part of it. Okay. I thought maybe it was. Okay. And then, All right. So just a motion to authorize that and then uh, direct staff to send their proper paperwork to the Division of uh, Liquor Control. So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. And then the personnel update. Find it here. <clears throat>
looks like we have resignation of Cody Swall, part-time EMT firefighter in the fire department, and then the hiring of Devin Kidd, police officer, um, and Nathaniel Fornash, police officer in the police department, and the resignation of Ryan Camargo, police officer. I know Ryan was a detective of ours, and he's moved on, and he uh, has worked in the village of the city of Indianville, but they still like to be referred to as the village. Mm -hmm. And then we have the hiring of Chris, or the resignation, I apologize, of Chris Hilbert, part-time laborer in the uh, porch department. And that concludes the personnel update. The board has uh, copies of the departmental activity reports. Unless there are any questions for those, I'll turn it over to Kim now for the meeting of program. Thank you. Um, we've got a couple of events coming up. February the 19th is our first one for the year, and that's the Daddy-Daughter Dance. Um, March the 19th is the Mom Prom. April 9th, we have a dinner theater production called Rock Tales. And May 21st, we're doing a new event. It's an artesian fair. And uh, we had our meeting today. And we've got some exciting vendors. Um, and then just an announcement that we have um, new Springfield Township Bengals stickers that are available at the Arts Center for people to pick up. Kim? Thank you. That concludes uh, my report. Thank you, Mr. Gilbert. Okay. There are four resolutions before the board tonight for consideration. First is resolution number 13-2022 declaring motor vehicles located on public or private property in Springfield Township, Hamilton County, Ohio to be junk motor vehicles pursuant to RC 505.173 and ordering the removal of such vehicles pursuant to resolution number 80-2012 and RC 505.871. Do I have a motion? So moved. Seconded. Mr. Burney? Aye. Mr. Heinlaw? Aye. Ms. Davis? Aye. Resolution carries. Resolution number 14-2022, authorizing private sale of unneeded and unfit for use property in the police department. Do I have a motion? So moved. Seconded. Mr. Burney? Aye. Mr. Hanelaw? Aye. Ms. Davis? Aye. Resolution carries. Resolution number 15-2022, declaring nuisances pursuant to Ohio Revised Code section 505.87 at various listed properties within Springfield Township and authorizing statutory actions necessary to abate the nuisances. Do I have a motion? So moved. Seconded. Mr. Burney? Aye. Mr. Hanelaw? Aye. Ms. Davis? Aye. Resolution carries. Resolution number 16-2022, establishing assessment for abatement of nuisance and certifying same to the Hamilton County Auditor. Do I have a motion? So moved. Seconded. Mr. Burney? Aye. Mr. Hanelaw? Aye. Ms. Davis? Aye. Resolution carries. Thank you. Okay. Is there any old business before the board? Uh, the only thing that I had just I thought we would uh, maybe talk about briefly is we did have in January a, a meeting of the Board of Trustees with uh, people from City Barbecue, we approved a, a um, at, at that public hearing, we have a, a zoning map amendment and we heard testimony regarding that for the preliminary development plans. Uh, this is gonna be the property where uh, the Bernstein Clinic is now. Um, we'll, we'll, uh, the plans are to, to redevelop that into a city barbecue. So they would be uh, a new addition to the Winton Road corridor and another option for clients and so, or uh, for um, citizens. So we look forward to that. And uh, I know we have some more things. We have quite a few, we're active in quite a few things coming here. And uh, so it's, it's all good news. That could be old and new. Yeah. Um, but okay. okay. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Honolulu. Mr. Byrne? I'm good. Okay, thank you. Is there any new business before the board? No. No new no. business. So we've reached a portion of our meeting.
Um, citizen participation, is there anyone in attendance that would like to address the board? If so, please step to the podium and state your name and your address, please. Hi, I'm Linda A. Smith. I live at 30 Vermont Avenue. I'm your neighbor in Wyoming. Um, I've been here several times before, and it's with uh, talking about Glenda A. Smith Youth Sanctuary offering services to the community through that. Um, and I must say, every time I come here, there's no contention. So that speaks volumes <laughs> about the leadership here. I know your police department is, does a great job because I've had to call them a couple of times um, in a non-emergency situation when I lock my keys. I told Joe about that. <laughs> I lock my keys in the car. So thank you. I really appreciate you guys and the leadership here. Tonight I'm here because, again, my name is Glenda A. Smith. I'm running for Hamilton County Juvenile Court Judge. I'm running because Hamilton County is 30 years behind and 12 years behind, 30 years behind the rest of the country, 12 years behind the rest of Ohio in juvenile justice reforms that are more humane, effective, efficient, while keeping the community safe. I've seen the impact of these reforms in Montgomery County, Cuyahoga County, uh, Franklin County, Summit County, and other counties. And I would like to bring those reforms here but I cannot do it by myself. I need your support and the support of others. And uh, you can go to glendaforjudge.com to see how you can join the campaign. I have 20 plus years of experience fighting for the rights of marginalized people in juvenile court, as well as state courts, the Court of Appeals, federal courts, and the United States Supreme Court. I did not get that privilege by myself. I had support from my family, my church family, teachers, professors, uh, chancellor of the university at IU, and others. I was raised in public housing by a single parent. I was a teen mother. Back then, you were ostracized. Uh, I was told implicitly or explicitly that I would not get out of public housing. But because of my faith, work ethic, and charity, I have a bachelor's in, public of, bachelor's in criminal justice, master's in public affairs, and doctorates in jurisprudence. I have four children. My oldest child has a master's in social work. My son is a journeyman electrician and member of IBEW Local 648. My third child graduated from Wellesley College in 2020. My fourth child is in her second year at Howard University. So if you want a juvenile court judge that knows children, family, and obstacles and how to overcome obstacles. Someone who is empathetic but will provide opportunities. I don't feel sorry for people, but I do will facilitate whatever avenue people want to take as long as it's a productive one, <laughs> a positive one. So if you want that kind of judge, then again, go to glendaforjudge.com and join the campaign. Are there any questions? No? OK, I have some uh, handouts. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. for coming. Thank you for coming. I know we're in the public portion of the meeting, uh, but I just wanted to take a minute to uh, recognize Michael and uh, his staff at Public Works for another bang up job they did with clearing the snow for the residents. Um, it's just, you know, you guys always do a magnificent job and the feedback that um, I saw on social media and the feedback that I received from, from folks who didn't even, doesn't even live in the, in the township um, makes me proud 
And uh, I just wanted to say publicly thank you and please share, extend my gratitude to your staff as well. I will, I will. That means a lot to me and it means a lot to them. So thank you very much. That was a nightmare scenario, wasn't it? Probably one of, <laughs> one of the worst I've seen in 20 years. Yeah. Rain and then the freezing. It just, it just kept coming and coming. I mean, it just we had sleet for what? How many hours? I think in excess of 12. Yeah, I can't get off my driveway. I, well, I, I tell you, it, it, yeah, everybody says you can't get the stuff up and you can't cause the sheet of ice. But what they did out on uh, Winton Road, getting it off the sidewalks, that, that helped a lot because that was not safe. You know, I was seeing people walk in the streets and kids trying to get home from school, like uh, Chris, you were saying. That, that's, that was a um, good thing. Yeah, the goal is to have all the sidewalks through the business district where most people travel um, by tomorrow. So I think everything will be clear by tomorrow. We've got 70 to 75 percent done at this point. Very good. Thank you. And before I ask for a motion to adjourn, I like a big resounding who day. <laughs> who day? Who day? Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone.